Hi, I'm Anita from Kupo. I'm here to show you why DMX Terminator is so important. But before that, I would like to give a brief introduction to the DMX Terminator first. What is DMX Terminator? It's a resistor provides termination to the DMX cable. But why we need it is to improve signal reliability by preventing reflection and reducing the signal distortion on short line. Where do we put the DMX terminator? We just put it on the last device. How does it work? It's very simple because the best way to prevent reflection is to absorb it. The DMX512 specification states the cable should have characteristic impedance of 120 ohms, which means a value of 120 ohms as usually specified for proper DMX512 termination. Here, I have two coupled digit You can see one is the three pin and the other one is the five pin. Both of them consist of 120 ohms resistor in the pin, between the pin two and pin three is to give the impression to the transmitter device that the cable is in infinity in length. Also, you can see there's a happy LED sitting right on the top of the terminator as to illuminate the DMX512 signal as strong or not in present. Also, there is a ring besides as for easy carry. Now I'm going to show you a magic. How Kupo did you see it work? There are two rows of the DMX cables here. Each row is 400 meters. So totally there are 800 DMX cables here. We, we plug one end to the transmitter device and the other end to the DMX device. And you can see there is no DMX terminator at the output. Let's tur turn on the device first. You can see from the receiver, the signal is unstable, which means the fan is out of the control. Let's see what will happen if we put on Kupo DTC here. You can see it from the receiver, the signal is stable now, and the fan is completely under control. So we can freely control the fan here. So, never say no to the Terminator.